Hello everybody, it's Pavo and welcome back to Zoo Crafting. So I'm just going to start this episode by giving you a little bit of information. I will be going to Scotland in a few days. I will be stopping there for a fortnight, so 14 days. And in order for me to get 7 videos out for you, I'm going to have to start pre-recording a lot. So I'm sorry if it doesn't look as if I'm answering any of your comments or if I'm ignoring your suggestions. I promise you I'm not. It's just that I am very very busy and well I'm going away on Saturday so I don't think I'll be able to reply to any comments while I'm away so just to let you know that yes I'm not ignoring you it's just I am out having fun in rainy 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 Scotland okay so it's gonna be another one of those days where I use a to-do list so the first thing on the list is check mail and I've noticed I have a double chest outside the front of my house and I think I know exactly who put it there and a few of you have left like hints in the comments telling me to go check outside the front of my house so I will go and do that the second thing we've got to do is to gather the elephants and well there's lots and lots of elephants wandering around my zoo and my area so I thought it was best to give them my home in the exhibit then we've got to name the panda and someone has suggested a really cool name that I'm going to go ahead and name uh, our soul panda and if we see any of the pandas I'm going to go ahead and put them in the exhibit then well this is a bit of a sad thing to do but Katrina over here has been all alone for way 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 too long and even the other day Ben came in and said that it was quite sad because she was just standing in the corner and I promise I didn't put her there she just sort of wandered over there herself but I've decided that the best thing to do is to pop her in a safari net and take her over to Ben's place. So Ben has said that I could take her to Akira and leave her in a chest and he'll happily um, adopt her. So that's what we're going to do and then the last thing on the list is bottle wine. And you may remember that in the, le in the last chores episode I brewed some wine in these brewing barrels. And they are actually fermented, so what I need to do is I need to go ahead and craft some bottles in order to get the wine out. So, bottle. I need some empty bottles. So, I need iron ingots and glass blocks. That's also the same recipe as the butterfly jars from the Butterfly Mania mod. So, let's see. We don't have any glass in there because I think I took it to use on the exhibit. I did. So, I'm going to have to chisel it, I think. Uh, but let's see, I'm also going to grab some iron and I should really sort out my inventory really quickly I'm just going to toss some things in here actually I'll turn it on first so we'll get rid of all this because we're not going to we're not going to need any of this today I don't think um, I need the clipboard definitely and I definitely need the food but crafting station and the chest can go away so let's go ahead and I will oh I've also got to put uh, the horse back in the stables so I'm going to go do that in a minute but I need to oops need to chisel this glass into vanilla glass because I'm not sure I can use the chiseled glass in recipes but I should have tested it out but we'll go ahead and we'll make a couple of bottles so how many does this make? Was it just one? Yes it is so we're gonna have to make a, a few let's go ahead we'll make six I think and let's see how much wine we can get out of these bottles so I assume we just right click it yes we do and okay so you get four so I need to make another three. Oh wow now you get five so I need to make another four. One two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four there we are so we've got another five bottles and um, we can go ahead and we grab the wine from here and yes okay so for some reason these don't stack or they do and it's just they stack in uh, eight I'm not sure I don't know uh, but I'm gonna go put this wine where should we put this wine I was gonna put it in the fridge but maybe not I really need a wine rack so I'm gonna put it up here in this chest and I was thinking that we could possibly start like a brewery or something that word is so hard for me pr to pronounce brewery or maybe like a lemonade stand or something outside the front I think that'd be like a cool thing to do so that when the other zoo crafters come and visit they can help themselves to a drink for free or something but what I'm going to do now is I can cross that off because we've bottled the wine. Now I need to take Katrina to Ben's. So let's see if we have a single use safari net. So I'm just going to head down here and check this 
chest. Um, I do, I do. So I need to right click her. And I'm so sorry Katrina, this probably won't be the last time you see me, but it probably will be the last time you see this house. Unless Ben comes to bring you for a visit of course. But let's, we'll pick you up and we'll head out the front. And we need to head to Akira and I don't think anybody has shown Akira before. I asked Ben if it would be okay if I showed it on camera and he said he was indifferent. So we're going to head there very, very quickly. So I haven't actually been here since he's built it. Well, he's done a lot of improvements since I came here last and wow, this portal, is that not incredible? This place just looks amazing. So I have to find the currency office and I'm not exactly sure where that is. And Ben is currently on online, so we might see him nearby. But look at them all. Look at all the maids. This is so adorable. They're all so cute. This is uh, Shizuka and Rin. And there are some more over here. I don't know where I'm finding this currency office, but wow, this place is incredible. Um, yeah, I'm a bit lost. I assume it's this big building here. Oh, currency chest. There you are. There you are. I'm just going to pop her in there. I think that's what Ben meant. But I'm not going to pry too much, but doesn't this place look amazing? It really does. I can't wait to see it finished. So we've got another thing to cross off on our list here. If it's going to let me. And then we've got to name the panda. So let's head home very quickly. And I need to craft myself a name tag. Okay, so we're back home. And I, if I'm correct, we do have the ingredients to make one, but I'm just going to gather up some of this sugar cane just in case we don't have any paper. Though I'm pretty positive that we do. Okay. And we'll break that as well. The only thing that might be a bit of trouble is slime balls, but I think I have some of those as well because I went and I climbed up on that slime island that you can see sort of. Can you see it from here? I don't think you can. I think the clouds are in the way. But I went up there, died a few times, fell to my death. Um, it was quite an interesting experience that I probably should have recorded. Okay, we don't have any paper, so it was good that I went ahead and got some of this uh, sugar cane. And I don't remember if it's three string or one string that we need, but it's definitely one slime ball. So let's go ahead and... I can never remember this recipe. I really should because I use them so often. Okay, so it's like this. It was three string. And I didn't make the paper, did I? So, oops, silly me. Let's make the paper. Paper, string, 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 and slime ball. There we are. And we do have enough experience, so I'm going to head up here to the anvil, which is in my workshop. And I'm going to name it. I've got to make sure that I'm spelling this correctly. Uh, by Yun, and I probably completely butchered that pronunciation, but this name was suggested by Ethan and it's actually the name of one of the pandas in San Diego Zoo, which I found out, which was pretty cool, but it actually means white cloud in Chinese, which I thought was really, really cool. So we're going to go ahead and we will name our panda that, and I think we're going to go ahead and we'll gather the elephants so we can put the elephants in the exhibit when we go over there. And then we will come back and we'll check the mail. I honestly can't wait to see what's inside. I haven't peeked yet. I haven't, I promise. Uh, safari nets. So this is where, <laughs> hmm, it, uh, things are going to get a bit complicated. I'm, I might have to get rid of this skeleton. I am very sorry, skeleton Alex. I might have to put you in a cave or somewhere. I won't murder you, but I need to free up this safari net. So I'm going to pop you in there, just as long as you don't shoot me, or you don't wander out, it should all be fine. Okay, so I'm going to grab this elephant, and I think this one was African, I didn't check. I think it was, yes, the ears. And we will grab the other safari net, and we will get this elephant over here. And I also need to eat something. I have some pork today, so a very diet, and I probably shouldn't eat it while looking at that pig, that was a bit wrong. Um, um pig yes I'm sorry <laughs> and we'll grab this one wait hang on this one looks like an Asian elephant okay and I don't see any more around but I probably will do so let's hop on 
the horse. Good job we didn't put the horse away to the stables, because we needed him. And let's see, let's see if we can see any more elephants. If we do, I don't actually have enough room, so I'd have to come back and get them. Uh, but I think we should all be fine. Oh, what was that? A lightning bug, that's so cool. And we'll just head through our zoo entrance. And there definitely is one or two over there, yes, I can see it. So let's pop these ones in. This exhibit might be getting a bit crowded, so I think we're going to get him over there, and then we might have to find a new home for some of these elephants. But So yes, if you've got names for these elephants, please leave them in the comments. As I said, I'm pre-recording these videos, so you probably won't see the names um, for a while, but I promise you I will use them. And... Ah, oh, I just love this. This is, I was going to say, it's one of my favourite exhibits, but we only have two. And the panda exhibit is also one of my favourite exhibits. So, um, that was a bit redundant. But yes, we'll go, we're going to go ahead over here, we'll grab this elephant. This one can also go in the exhibit. So we have three of them to name. Uh, if I can pick you up. Yes, I can. And we'll pop you in as well. I also like need a gate or something to be able to get into this exhibit because I currently have to climb over the fence. I can't do this. Uh, I can't reach. There we are. And this one is... I think you're an African as well because your ears. But we'll hop on you and we will head... Hang on, I'm a bit disorientated. Head over to the panda enclosure and we will name the panda. I also see zebras as well. That would be a cool exhibit to do next, wouldn't it? Or a tiger. Oh gosh, so many, so many animals, so many. I really don't know, I really don't know what to do next. Um, still looking for pandas. Someone did, oh look, there's another elephant. I don't know, I'm torn. Should I add the elephant in? I think I might, I think I might. I'm gonna pick him up, cause he's all on his own over here. Wait, let's see. And now, yeah, we will, we'll go and name the panda. Oh look, there's more, okay, okay, okay. I can't collect all the elephants. So, I guess I'm just going to pop this elephant over here, like so. And I see a panda. I see a panda. I see another panda. How did I not come over here yesterday? Wow. So, um, I know you're having fun over here, but I'm just going to scoot you like 50 meters or so over that direction and we'll put you in a nice enclosure with another panda friend. Is that okay? I hope so, because <laughs> I'm doing it anyway. Okay, so let's head back and we'll... I, I don't, I don't, we can't go across the river. Oh my gosh, Sambozi, please don't drown. Um, but if you've got a panda name as well, please suggest it and I will name it in a, a couple more videos. So let's close this and we'll come in here and we'll pop this panda down. Look, you have a friend. I'm actually going to bring you over to Look at you, you're both adorable. Oh my gosh, you really are. So I'm going to name you Bai Yun. There you are. You are tamed, or named rather. I love it, I love it. Okay, so I'm going to leave you two here. I did actually add a bit more bamboo because I didn't feel like there was enough bamboo, but if I add more, it's gonna get a bit chaotic, so I'm gonna leave it. It still does need a few more things to touch up, like maybe some um, enrichment items in here, and some improvements to this room here as well, like a, a chair, and possibly making this like a, a window that you can look out, or maybe even this, so that the keepers can look into the pandas. I don't know, but I'll figure something out. Okay, and what we've been working up for? Opening our mail. So let's hop on a horse that seems to be stuck in the ground. And we'll head back to the house. And we'll see what's waiting in the double chest. If we can get there without lagging too badly. And if we come across another panda, I'm afraid we're going to have to be going back. Ah, I did not realise that was a hole there. Okay, I'm a bit lost now. Um, I see the path. We're all good. We're by the apple tree. We are a bit stuck. We're on the path. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Actually, I'm gonna pop you in these stables because I'm not gonna need you for a, a while, Zambezi. And you can have a drink and some food because 
Hang on. There you are. Please don't get stuck in the floor. It concerns me when that happens. But yes, we'll get around to opening the chest finally. We like opening gifts. Oh my gosh. This is a lot. Okay, hang on. Um, let's see. We've got lots and lots of stained glass. That's really very pretty. Look at that. And we have a book. Amazing House by Seri. It is from Seri. I knew it would be. I knew it would be. And we have some pecans. We have some uh, pineapple crab battle blitz. It's pina colada. I love pina coladas. A uh, rosy red panda sorbet, cherry ice cream. Squirrel's secret fruit stash, pineapple upside down cake. Uh, another panda sorbet infused with mint. That, that's interesting, cherry and mint. Hmm, I imagine that's a very interesting combination. We have some marigolds and we also have some devil hawkweed. Ooh, that's interesting. And limestone, oh my gosh. I love limestone. This is the block that I use more than any. Well, apart from carbonless blocks, but they don't really count because they're sort of you. They're, they're, they're a combination block. But let's go ahead. Oh, we've got squickiness up. Six of them? Oh my gosh. I didn't expect six. Let's go ahead and read this book though. Hey, Opavo. I have bought that flock, squack, of squicking that you asked for. I am more than happy to share the well-natured clones of Quill with you. You can keep the safari nets, they are in two as a gift. Yay! We can keep safari nets? Oh my gosh, I was just mentioning that we were running out of safari nets as well. However, I do want to warn you, I still do not know why he's causing the cloning issues I seem to have. Recently I got another Professor Cowplant 3 in my lab, and it's confused her boyfriend, Assistant Freezer Bunny, tremendously. So do keep them with caution. Also, your new house is utterly amazing and beautiful, and represents some of the best building I have seen in my life. I shall now go to shyly live in my silly treehouse now. Oh yeah, please enjoy some of the new foods that we're experimenting with in Zudesi Zoo. Hopefully we will soon have new places to eat and new animals to learn about. I hope you are doing well and enjoy your vacation. From Seri. Oh, isn't that sweet? That is adorable. Thank you so much, Seri. Okay, so... I am a bit concerned that now we have six quill that potentially they are going to duplicate a lot over here so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with six of them but I'm going to, oh I don't have enough room but I'm going to uh, bring them down here and I'll, I'll make a, a home for them in the garden, I think I'll do that in the next episode because six of them, I did not expect six, I only expect did like one maybe maybe two I don't know but oh we're gonna have ink sacks galore okay and yes yeah, so I've got to take this these glass out as well these are very very pretty I think I might make like a stained glass window out of them I'll find something to use them for actually this glass is very pretty like we could use it in the oriental zone couldn't we so I'm gonna take this and I guess we'll put it we can't put it in the materials I'm gonna put it in my backpack and yeah we will find a use for it it does look very very pretty Okay, and then we've got some leaves, and all oh, this limestone, oh my gosh. I can't put it in my materials, I'm going to have to empty my backpack a bit later. So we'll put this away, and all oh, this food, okay. Let's just quickly take the flowers, and I'm going to take the food, and we can go ahead and we'll break this chest, and wow. I really do like getting gifts, and that was incredible. Wow, okay, so I'll put these away, and this, this will definitely keep me well fed for the next <laughs> week or so. So I think I'm good there, and I want to plant these things actually. I'm going to plant these at the front, because I live in like a sunflower plain, well it's a plains biome, but there's lots of sunflowers around here. So I think I'm going to put that there, like that, and I guess the marigolds as well. These could go, where should we put these? I think these would also look good out the front, like that. Yeah, there we are. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode here. As always, the code is on screen, and I think I'm actually going to change the codes up again so that they are animals, because I've had a few people comment that they're not memorable enough. Like, it's hard to remember the new codes, but I only did that because some people managed to guess the old codes before I released the videos, and that was a bit unfair. But if they managed to do that, then kudos to them. So, I'll see you all in the next episode. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Goodbye. Bye.